What's up, YouTube? Que lo que? My name is Christian Ramos, and I'm the one, the only, the curl puppy. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a few items that have allowed me to have better wash days, better hairstyling results, and overall have made my life as a curly haired person easier. If you're interested in watching this video, stay tuned. You are now watching The Curl Poppy. All right, so two things I wanna get out of the way. First, let's acknowledge my voice. The President of the United States was announced yesterday, and as you all know the results, Biden and Kamala Harris won. I was so excited, I could not stop screaming, and that is why my voice sounds horrible but i am so excited about the future of this country and on that note let's get started with the video oh wait we can't get started with the video because i said two things right the second thing is these items are not items that i am telling you that you need to have better wash days and better results with your curly hair these are items that have made my life my life personally easy when having wash days with styling my hair maintaining my hair so let's get right into it first item i want to talk about is a shampoo brush so you can wash your hair however the heck you want right you do not need a shampoo brush i'm just saying that this has made it easier for me to wash my hair especially with me there's times where my nails are too long and I am scraping the crap out of my scalp. And honestly, nobody wants a bloody scalp after shampooing their hair. And another thing, when I do chomp down my nails because my nails, I don't like them long, I tend to just have the nubs of my finger. So I'll literally just have skin rubbing on top of my scalp and that is no way to get a clean scalp. That being said, if you have a shampoo brush, you don't have to worry about damaging your scalp with either nails or being too rough. This one in particular has silicone bristles, which are soft on your scalp. They allow the shampoo to give a good lather. And then also, it gives your scalp a massage, and you know what that does. It gives you blood flow and circulation on your scalp, which promotes hair growth. The second item I want to talk about is a good detangling brush. Personally, I love a wide tooth comb because it's not snagging on your hair. Everything is distributed evenly, especially your products, when you are using a wide tooth comb. And detangling is easy. You can get any type of wide tooth comb or any detangling brush in general. I also have one by Pattern Beauty. This one is more of a styling brush, but you can also use it as a detangling brush because it is listed as a shower brush. The next item I wanna talk about are disposable shower caps. I personally prefer the plain plastic shower caps. If you want, you can get one, like another one that I have, which is a self-heating shower cap. Another, there's tons that you can get on Amazon that you can put in the microwave. These you will need when you are putting in your deep conditioners. These will absorb all of the moisture from your body and the shower itself and give you a more deep penetration of your products, of your mask in the shower. The best thing about the disposable ones, you can either throw them out or you can rinse them out and reuse them. The next item I want to talk about is a microfiber towel. After you're done washing your hair in the shower, just wrap your hair around with a microfiber towel. I have two styles. I have one that is longer and one that it turns into a turban. These are great to absorb all of the water from your hair. Also, they're super gentle on your hair because microfiber towels do not, do not, do not, do not promote breakage in the hair unlike other type of regular towels that can be super rough on your hair cause frizz and we don't have time for breakage or frizz honestly we are trying to have the healthiest hair possible these two in particular are from the company turby twist 
You can find tons and tons of different brands that make microfiber towels. They do not have to be bougie. They do not have to be expensive. They just need to work. The next item I want to talk about is a Mr. Spray bottle. And when I say a Mr. Spray bottle, I don't mean like Mr. Spray. I mean a Mr. Having a Mr. Spray bottle is so beneficial, especially when you want to apply your styling products without having to have so much water like the regular spray bottles on your hair, on your hands, on the floor, and making a mess. The one I have is from Pattern Beauty. This one has a continuous 360 spray. You can spray the nozzle a couple of times and it'll continuously release mist from the bottle. I personally love using a Mr. Spray bottle when I am refreshing my hair and also applying products in my hair. Now, after styling my hair, I love to air dry. I do not use a diffuser, which that could be an honorable mention in this video. I personally do not diffuse. I use air to dry my hair. That being said though, once my hair is dry, I love to scrunch that crunch because you already know I use gel and you're gonna get that crunch, but I love to scrunch the crunch and I use a hair pick, which is our next item. My favorite hair pick is from the company Cantu. As you can see, there are two rows, but honestly, hair picks come in so many unique varieties. You can get them in wood, in metal. There's different handles that hair picks have. Find the one that works best for you. I personally love the Cantu one because I feel like it gives my hair the perfect fluff and puff that I need to be flawless out here, you know, because the curl poppy gotta look fly. All right, let's say I was out there doing my thing. I came home, I'm ready to wrap up and go to sleep. One way that I protect my hair is with a hair bonnet. I have a satin hair bonnet. I got mine from Walgreens for less than $5. But this item will allow your hair to stay protected from any of the nonsense that happens when you're asleep, if you like to roll around, Listen, get you a hair bonnet because it's gonna prevent frizz, it's gonna prevent breakage, and let's be for real, a lot of times when you go to sleep on your pillow, your hair is gonna be flat. Put your hair in a pineapple, put your hair in however style you feel that your curls will stay maintained. Throw on your hair bonnet, and listen, you don't have to worry about anything when you wake up the next morning, just fluff it out, refresh it, and you're good to go. In conjunction with your satin bonnet, you can also get a satin pillowcase. If you don't wanna wear a bonnet, or let's be for real, sometimes I forget to put on my bonnet and I'm just so tired, I just wanna lay down. Guess what? If you don't have that extra layer of protection with a hair bonnet, get you a satin pillowcase because it is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna prevent your hair from breakage, it's gonna prevent your hair from frizz, and you're gonna wake up in the morning being glad that your hair is still looking popping. The next item I wanna talk about is hair ties. For those of you that do not like having your hair out all the time, especially like me, I'm a type of person that sweats like crazy. Having my hair in my face is annoying. Or even when your hair days are getting close to your next wash day, you literally just wanna pick up your hair and put it in a bun. And what best way to do that with than getting hair ties? There's tons of hair ties that you can get. I personally like getting a pack that has a bunch this one in particular has about 32 hair ties. I get it at Walgreens, again, less than $5. They always seem to go missing. Every day I'm looking for a new hair tie and it's annoying, that's why I get a large amount. But you can get scrunchies, you can get the plastic little uh, hair ties that don't put any pressure on your hair. I like mine to be the small size. Well, actually, I think these are the medium size, but I like mine not to be so big, not bulky. I just like tying my hair up and boom, good to go. Guess what is the next item that you need to have amazing hair results as a curly haired person? I'm gonna link the video up here about my curl rant that I had. And honestly, the number one thing you need out of all of these items is gonna be patience. You need patience, you need patience, you need patience, you need patience. But seriously, you need a lot of patience when having curly hair, 
I advise you to take a look at that curl rant because I went off on all things curly hair that are issues and personal problems that I face. There could have been so many items that I could have mentioned. You can get a filtered shower head. You can get a diffuser. You know, there's so many available products for people that have curly hair, but these are the items that I personally feel have made me have less stress, better results, and honestly, who doesn't want less stress and better results? All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Flood my comment section, letting me know what items you personally use as a curly haired person that have made your life better, that has enriched your life, and has allowed you to have better hair days. Also, follow me on Instagram at the curl pop because you already know I am posting fleeky pics all the time. Follow me on my hair journey. And last but not least, subscribe because we are on the road to being a poppin' curl poppy gang. Join me on that journey. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Till next time, bye.